Hackers targeted three dozen county school system employees. They apparently realized something had gone wrong when their direct deposit failed to show up in their bank accounts. Instead, the money, $57,000 in all, was redirected to another bogus account. School officials moved quickly to take action. We're just making sure that folks change their passwords regularly. Um, we definitely had to do that with the 36 employees that were affected, and then our superintendent sent out an email to make sure that everyone changes their passwords quickly. Employees eventually got paid with paper checks. Meantime, school officials say it's possible those same employees may have clicked on spam mail. That's what county police are also trying to find out. They've joined the investigation and say it's a probe it also comes with a warning. Anytime you receive an, e an email asking for information, asking you to click on, a, on a, some website, a link to something, be uh, suspicious of that. Be somewhat skeptical. School officials say the cyber attack appears to have been random. But already, the incident has forced the district to make changes to its payroll system. And we've also taken the steps of um, disabling the uh, access online for employees to do direct deposit and so forth. Everything we've gone back to paper until we rectify the issue. This appears to be the first cyber attack of its type to affect the school system in more than a decade. Now, besides county police, the payroll system vendor and Microsoft are also investigating this incident. Live in the studio, Tim Tutin, WBAL-TV 11 News.